Alrighty. So today we're gonna be talking about how to get motivated to work out. I just can't believe that I gotta make a video like this because some people will need motivation. But I was in that same spot too, all right? I was probably 15, 10th grade. You know, I, was, I went on a nice little bulk. I put on some size, right? I'm like, all right, I'll, we got momentum. Let's keep working it. And then junior year comes around next year. Now I'm 16 and school picks up. Stress picks up, anxiety picks up. I start eating a lot more, but it's not eating more to do because I'm on a bulk, but it's kind of like I'm binge eating and I'm, I, need, I need to cope somehow, some way with all the pressure in my life. So what happened is I, I, start, I kept eating, eating, eating. And on top of that, I noticed, right? I noticed that my workout frequency was starting to go down. I was going six days a week and then it went down to five days a week. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I can still operate on five days a week of workouts. And then it went down to four days a week and then three. And at three, I was like, all right, listen, three is a lot, <laughs> okay? It's a big drop. It's a big drop from six days a week that's like half the fucking volume that you do in a week normally let's keep it like this and then it went down to two and i kept coping with it and then went down to one and then i just stopped <laughs> there was it was literally at a point where i was just eating so much i'm like yeah i'm bulking and it didn't work out <laughs> so what the fuck do you think i was doing with all the extra food it just turned to fat there was no need for me to eat so much but i just kept eating my motivation was zero and it was like that for six months that's the sad truth for six months i just ate 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 and i just didn't have any motivation to work out so i just watched my body that i spent like two years two three years by that time just like working on deteriorate in like a flash like you're a fat ass now type shit but yeah man look at you man you get to hear me at my worst that's okay because you got to be at your worst to be at your to be at your best as i say or some motivational bullshit basically i look back now and i had to go through that point but six months right i was in that little stage i was basically eating a lot not working out getting fat as shit hating my body and then what i started to do was um i'm like you know what I'm not, I can't, I can't view myself like this. I can't live with this identity of myself. Because by, at that time I was viewing myself as, you know, a person who didn't work out. Because if, if I viewed myself as a person who did work out and I truly believed in it, like fully, then I would be working out all the time. But they got to the point where I, I was like, fuck working out. Let me just eat, let me enjoy my life. And then six months later, I'm like, you know what? It's time for the come up. And I, and I had this viewpoint that I'm a bodybuilder, right? Like when I was a junior, I was like, listen, I want to look like Phil Heath. And that was the reason why I, was, I ate so much because I want to look like Phil Heath. He's like one of, he's like a fucking famous ass bodybuilder. I've seen a lot of pictures of him and his body is just huge, bro. I look back now and I'm like, I don't want to look like that. But at that time, I just wanted to get big as fuck. And he was like the motivation. So yeah, we rode with it. And then I looked... I looked at myself, I'm like, listen, like, Phil Heath is big, but he's shredded. I'm not. So I got to change this. So we re-entered the game six months later. We started to work out. It hit the consistent workouts. The cardio was very frequent. We started to be in a calorie deficit. And voila, we got shredded. So what came out of that, right, was basically... The only thing that really changed from me not working out to starting to work out again was just the fact that I shifted my identity. I stopped viewing myself as a fat ass, as a person who didn't work out, and started looking at myself again as a bodybuilder, an athlete, someone who took this shit serious and looked at all the variables and, the, and was tracking all the variables and playing with them so I get the best results. Because that's what the fucking athlete does every single day. He's trying to get better. He's playing with his variables, like his food intake, his recovery, his performance, his training volume. All these things are constantly being manipulated to get the best results. And I started to view myself as an athlete who did that. So I started playing with my food intake by decreasing. I started looking at my cardio as something I need to do every single week 
Not every single week, fuck that. Almost every single day. I started hitting these consistent workouts. I was training for progressive overload. All these factors came together and at the end, I got to where I wanted to be in terms of my body fat percentage and my body. I look at my body now and I'm like, holy fuck. I am a gorgeous motherfucker. Like, my, I have a very pretty body. And seven years ago, I wouldn't think like this. I was like thinking to myself that I'm a, that I look ugly and I look inadequate, but I changed my identity. And when I changed my identity, my body became what it is. Gorgeous, amazing, yada me, yada me, yada. All right. So, look at my jawline too, bro. Perks are being shredded. Not even, I'm not even shredded, but like, perks are being low body fat, you know? But yes, basically, right, to become the version of yourself where you have the body of your dreams and to have the motivation is going to result in you having to shift your identity from being, oh, like, it's okay if I don't work out, you know? It's okay if I don't get this. It's okay if I don't build the body of my dreams. No, you have to be committed to it. And once you're so committed to it, your identity changes because you start believing that you're already at that point or you're very close to that point. And the motivation is naturally there. The discipline is naturally there. Matter of fact, don't look at motivation as something that's necessary. Look at discipline as necessary. Discipline to get from where you are now to where you need to be. And to fill in that gap is going to require consistency and you having the ability to believe that you are you are very capable of getting to that point with your physique. I have people who I have like really good friends of mine, you know, who are in very great shape. And they were very lean, like they had a six pack, right? And five years later now, they have a gut, they have a belly. And the only difference is the fact that they stopped the habits, but the habits like the working out, the dieting only stop because they believe that they don't need to look like that anymore. They're not like that. Like they can't be like that. And so what came out of it was going from being lean to being out of shape. And if that sounds like you, like shift your identity to being an athlete, to being meticulous with the way that you control these variables and your training and track everything. Like be so in depth be so like i just it's all gonna come down to be, you being hungry like an athlete is an athlete is constantly looking to be better because he's looking to be the champion and you got to start viewing yourself in that way as well and if you don't then you're just gonna be mediocre and below average and you're gonna be living like that the rest of your life so do something about it i hope you too with it i know you get there though but with that being said, that's enough, you know, food for thought. Take advantage of it. I'll be in touch shortly. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.